I have a couple projects I'm going to be starting underneath the car here. I'm going to install a secondary fuel pump mated to a uh, toggle switch, a three-way switch to select whatever fuel pump I want to use. And I'm probably going to mount this somewhere next to the SU pump that's on the car. And then I'll attach it in series. And then uh, if the SU pump ever fails on me, then I can just switch over to the uh, this electric pump. It was a pain in the butt to stop the fuel from coming out, so I came up with this little attachment. I just got a uh, just a nine millimeter inside the di diameter fuel hose, and I shoved it on the inlet. Uh, copper inlet tubing to, and I threw a uh, bolt that's the right size in the end of it and it's pretty well sealed up but I lost uh, a good uh, eight ounces of fuel <laughs> before I got it all stopped up so for the wiring of the two fuel pumps I've run the I've run new cables down through the grommet in the trunk space of the GT and through the new wire uh, sheathing that I laid and uh, so here's the the positive that is coming from the vehicle so that comes from the front uh, down through this um, wire loom and I've wired that in goes up to the switch and then these two what I've made red with white stripe come back from the switch and one each will go to the electric pump and the SU pump and then here's the the black uh, ground wire which will connect to both of the new pumps or both of the pumps so I just got to get them mounted and figure out how I'm going to run all my fuel lines and then do some cable management to make sure everything looks nice and is out of the way and I'll show you what that looks like in a second okay so here's a little shot of the wiring for the two pumps I got the pump mounted here uh, right on the side of the battery box and I've got some little rubber feet underneath it to reduce vibration the wiring I got the one of my red and white wires going to the SU pump the uh, positive in the back the other one goes to a connection and then onto the electric pump and then both the negatives are wired in and that'll be connected to the uh, SU terminal where the negative came off of originally. <clears throat> so I'm gonna put the SU pump back in. It looks like having a straight through. I got I got this one uh, black fitting here that came with the electric pump, and there's another one that you might be able to see peeking out on the top. So it's basically a straight through. And this braided steel line that I got a new line for the SU pump, it will wrap up and around and be the inlet will be on the top here. The inlet will be up up there, and then this will be the the outlet, and I'll show you how I plumb that here in a second. Alright, um, wiring up the three-way toggle switch. So I got the input from the uh, vehicle and then the two outputs wired to this three-way switch. And I'm just going to mount it right here in the back. I'll just uh, poke it through the hole there and uh, put the, the cover on. Zip tie this down to the other wire loom and uh, we'll be all done. Okay, here's the how the all the plumbing works on 
this new pump. So the inlet here for the SU, um, that's the standard line that's um, unchanged. The outlet right behind it goes up to a braided, a steel braided line up there. And that goes to the inlet of the electric pump right here. Now the electric pump comes out. The outlet of the electric pump goes to this 90 degree, connects to this small little flexible hose, and then into the copper hose. I had to, the only modification I made to the original was this copper hose that originally wrapped up um, here a little bit more and this this original or what was the original braided line wrapped around the SU unit and connected to this copper hose so I just I bent it straight and I cut off um, a little bit of it and now I just got this small little flexi hose here going out from the electric pump and then down through the copper line all the way down the vehicle. So that's it. Um, I got the negative attached here with the uh, two wires coming out of it. The two wires, one goes to the negative um, from the vehicle and the second one is just uh, passes that negative onto the new electric pump. And then I've already discussed the wiring for the positive that comes in through the new the new uh, covering, and then out of this small little hole here in the covering, and then up to the two pumps. So it's all pretty clean, and it looks good, and and it works. I'll show you how the uh, the final assembly and how the uh, trunk space looks with the new switch. Okay, just in the inside of the trunk space is the new switch. So I've got the the lines coming in through this sheathing right here, and then it goes behind here, and then to the switch, and it's a three-way toggle back forward and there you go so this will be middle obviously is off so if I want to uh, add another layer of protection or, or a kill switch to the vehicle obviously in the middle neither of the pumps is going to get electricity so the car won't start without fuel so forward and then aft switch between the two pumps that's it Installation complete, so now I have two pumps, a backup and the primary SU pump, and it all worked out pretty well. Hope you enjoyed and hope this helps someone out.